Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric back with another video from Classic Cards here with our SP mini series continuing it on. We have today a hobby box of 1997 Upper Deck SP. This is comes with 30 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. Right here on the box it says find limited edition crash numbered autographs. SPX force, force cards. It also says they put over 3,000 inserted 1993 to 1996 SP autograph cards in there. Speaking of those 1993-1996 autograph cards, it's a 10 card set and it's got some pretty dang good names on there. There's only, I would say, like one miss. And it's Ken Griffey Jr., Albert Bell, Mo Vaughn, Gary Sheffield, Greg Maddox, Alex Rodriguez, Roberto Alomar, Tony Gwynn, Andrew Jones, and the miss I spoke of would be Todd Hollinsworth. So it shows us some of the odds on the back. There's an inside info insert. There is a marquee matchups insert. A die cut hollow view special F FX insert, Griffey Heroes, Griffey Film, and then of course those SPX Force that they talked about. These are numbered to 500. The SPS X Force autograph cards are numbered to 100. So let's open the box and see what we get nice presentation this is a huge box it has a lot of weight to it so for 30 packs I was expecting something else here and okay so it's just a nice little presentation there this looks like a box topper of sorts it says right here it introduces inside info one of those insert sets highlighting some of the 1997's hottest MLB players that inside info is a 25 card set and it's one per box. So this is our inside info card. So it, it is one per box, as in every time it's one per box, you can't beat the odds there. So here we go. Let's get started here. This is gonna be a fun one. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to. There's the packs, nice bronze color there. Open it up. So some good names on here. That base card set is a 183 card set. I'll just go over some of the big ones we're looking for. Chase cards to look out for. Nomar Garcia Para foil. Andrew Jones foil. Vladimir Guerrero foil. And then there's a Bartolo Cologne. So luckily no sticking. And these cards look sweet with the holographic foil right there. There's Greg Vaughn, cousin of Mo Vaughn, the Padres right there. So I'm very pleased they're not sticking. That would, would have been a bummer, but you never know with these 90s upper decks especially. Chicago Cubs, there's a Ryan Sandberg. That's pretty sweet right there. Ryan Sandberg with the Cubs and a Darren Erstadt. Back when the Angels were the Anaheim Angels, 1997. That's a pretty good one. Looks to be a Darren Erstadt rookie year card. Not bad. And here's one that we were looking for, Nomar Garcia Para, foil. So this is the Great Futures. Man, look at that foil, That's, that is pretty cool. It's almost like an etched bronze. Like, like on a wall, that is sweet. Great futures. Let's take a look at that one. That's one of the ones we were looking for off the bat out of the first pack. Great to knock that off. Great futures, talking about his first major league start. That is pretty sweet. No Mark Garcia Parra right there, boom. Great futures. That right smack in the middle. Let's see, we got Chili Davis. And a Jeff Conine. So, I mean, you could see the refractor ish shine on the side foil there, holographic type look to it. I love that. 
Never seen these cards before, never seen a single one before. Mickey Morandini. Okay, that's a cool one. Almost some some of these look like a parallel if you catch it in the other another light. Like look at that. Don't even look the same. And then whoa. That is pretty sweet. Mickey Morandini, Lance Johnson. So out of our first pack, we got one of the big chase cards we were looking for. Some other information on this set, those Griffey Heroes, the Baseball Heroes Crash Numbered cards, those are numbered to 2,000, and the Game Films are numbered to 500. And I believe it's actually, they, they have a real, you know, film, game film from a, a camera, so it's almost like a relic. So I hope we do see one of those. Dean Palmer and Reggie Sanders. God, these cards just get me every time. They are beautiful. Holy cow. John Smoltz, and we have another great futures. Jose Cruz Jr., so one of the rookies there. Not one of the top big ones we were looking for, but Jose Cruz Jr., not bad. And a Mike P. adds a 97 SP, love that. That's a sweet one, and Matt Williams looks like managing for the Indians. <laughs> that's interesting one. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a manager photo if I've ever seen it right there. Mariano Rivera and Ben McDonald. Look at Mariano Rivera. Ben McDonald's got like huge something in his mouth. Um, hope it's bubblegum. Ben McDonald, Mariano Rivera. Interesting right there. Love Mariano Rivera. Number one save master. First person to be unanimous, unanimously voted into the Hall of Fame. We'll see if Derek Dieter can be the second. Only time will tell. Another pack here. Jason Schmidt. So that's a pretty sweet one. Jason Schmidt. Almost looks like, you know, their holographic foil, but it's still kind of the base color, I would say, of this foil is like yellow, so it kind of mirrors that pirates. I didn't notice that with, with these yet. Kind of that pink reddish for the Cincinnati. Okay, that makes sense. Brett Boone. There's a Chipper Jones, a young Chipper. That one's pretty cool. Nice, not too young, you know, six, seven years in. That's a good one, Chipper Jones. Great futures. Here's one we were looking for that I named in the beginning. Bartolo Cologne foil. That's a sweet one right there. Look at that etching. I mean, it's not really like etched as you can see, but it, I don't know what technology that is, but that's super cool. Back in 1997, especially. Right here, no major league experience from Bartolo, double A and triple A he played in. We know now, after all this time, from 97 till now, he has had a long career and is now retired. Ramon Martinez, Pedro Martinez's brother. David Justice, another big name back in the day. Flipping this over, Ben McDonald and a Jason Giambi. So that is cool. Jason Giambi back with the athletics. Very high end type of presentation here with the box and everything. Back in the day, this was a very high end release. Upper deck has these SPs. I guess they might have been competing with um, some finest or other high-end releases at the time. Randy Johnson, big unit. God, look how tall he's standing. Stands on that mound. He has to crouch to even fit in the card, right? Brett Boone, again, there's a duplicate. First duplicate, I believe. Chuck Finley. There he is. And another great futures. Let's see who we have here. Derek Gibson with the Rockies. So, our first big miss, I'd say, there. Jose Cruz Jr. is better. There's Ramon Martinez again and a David Justice again. So some repeats. 183 card set, 30 packs to a box, and what was it, eight cards a pack or however many we've been opening. So 
You can do the math there. Jose Canseco and Jose Valentin. Two Jose's. Another pack here. Still looking for an autograph. See if we can't find an autograph. Hitting one of those vintage autographs or the SPX Force autographs would be super sweet and definitely a big hit. Glen Allen Hill. Nice with the Giants. Then we have a Ray Durham. Not bad there. And whether. There's no sticky on the back. Okay, it's the next card after John Smoltz. I thought I saw a die cut. So let's see here, John Smoltz, and we flip it around. We have a marquee matchups. So this is the marquee matchups insert, one in every five packs. So I think that was our fifth pack, and we just hit it, marquee matchups. 20 card set, here's Greg Maddox. It has that same bronze foil, and I believe what they do here is it's basically a part one of two cards so you have the other part we'll have to find it you put it together and I guess that's a marquee matchup an interleague matchup it looks like this one is you can see the back is even cut off so I have to look out for that cards partner there flip it here J Bell Alex Fernandez Ricky Bodalico and Jose Valentin again. So definitely seeing some duplicates. New pack here, Tony Gwynn. That's not a bad one. As we get a little deeper into the box, it seems like they're sticking just a little bit more. There doesn't seem to be any paper loss or anything like that. There's a move on. Mo Vaughn, he has some autographs in this set. Mo Vaughn, there's a good one. Rocky Cooper. And here is another marquee matchups, one in every five pack, so beating the odds on that now. Mike Piazza, looks like we're missing his double there. His partner, we'll have to look out for those. Here we have a Derek Bell. Tony Clark with the Tigers and Carlos Baerga. Oh, we have one stick into the back of Tony. And it's a Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams. All you Yankees fans like that in the 90s and early 2000s. Let's scoot this over. Get some room. Hoping we can complete at least one of those marquee matchups. Get a good matchup going here. So there they are. There's the two. We have two left side cards. Another pack here. Ron Gant. Okay. Not bad. Even better. Frank Thomas. Look at that. Looked like he just popped the ball up unfortunately. Frank Thomas. That's a good one. Mike Mussina, Hall of Famer there. Some Hall of Famers here. Derek Gibson. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, Derek Gibson again. So we got a duplicate on a Derek Gibson. The one that we struck out on before. So not too good there. Here's a 97 Hideo Nomo. That's not a bad one. Looks like, what, second year Hideo Nomo maybe? Not bad, probably a big one back in the day. There's Dante Bichette, big lay kick there. Looks like recovering from a knee injury or something. Mariano Rivera again, not a bad duplicate. Getting a Mariano Rivera, 97 SP, love that. Terry Steinbach. All right, continuing on with our 97 SP hobby box opening here we have there he is, Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, that's a big boy. Big hitter right next to that. Speaking of big hitters, there's Sammy Sosa. God, these, these cards are just so sweet. Chuck Finley, the Angels. And there's Derek Lee. Not too shabby, great futures there. Rookie, no major league experience. 
So as we said, we're one in every three packs. Um, okay, Billy Wagner, Gary Sheffield with the Marlins, Kevin Elster and Todd Hundley. All right. Another pack here. Flip this over, Andy Bennis. Reggie Sanders again with the Reds. Javi Lopez. And our great futures is Aaron Boone, one of the Boone families. That's not a bad futures. Great futures rookie insert there. Pop that down. Mike Piazza again. There's Matt Williams acting like he's managing. Frank Rodriguez and a Jose Canseco again. So lots of duplicates, definitely I think more than I expected. That's okay, Ed Sprague, there's a new one. This pack is a little more bricked up than any others, so that's not a good sign. There we go. Ed Sprague, Ray Durham, White Sox. There's a Garrett Anderson. PC for me, Garrett Anderson. And a Frank Thomas, we got a left side marquee matchups again. So no matches yet for us. One in three packs, there's a Frank Thomas. Not bad, not bad. Here we go, Jay Bell again, Alex Fernandez again, Jason Giambi again, and Todd Hundley again. So definitely a lot of repeats. I didn't notice if there was a specific card, a range number that was extra short printed. Of course, upper deck SP means short print, so the idea was to print cards everybody wanted, but not, you know, not enough to for everyone to have. So looks like we have a die cut here. That's in one we. Might be another marquee matchup. So there's Trevor Hoffman, second in saves. Go here, Mel Rojas. There's a Garrett Anderson in a bit better condition. For some reason, that one pack was sticky. And here's one of the ones we were looking for, baby. Vladimir Guerrero. Great futures foil rookie. This way, at this point, he had... Looks like 27 at-bats, one RBI, one home run. Pretty sweet. That's a rookie Vlad foil right there from 97 SP, the Expos. So sweet one right there, not the best foil like some of these other ones are. Kind of got a blurred crowd in the background there or something. And upcoming... I see a special insert that we haven't had, an SPX Force Crash Numbered card. It's going to be numbered to 500, so let's see what it is. It features four players in holographic fashion. Gary Sheffield, Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds, and Jose Canseco. So that is a sweet card there. It's a die cut card. Take a look at that one right there. That is a sweet one. Love it. Look at that holograph, holographic look right there on the X and the insert with their pictures there. Here is the back of that one. It's numbered 358 out of 500. It's a 10 card set again. So that is not a bad one at all. On the box, it didn't say the odds for these. It just said, you know, there's uh, 500 of them or 2,000 or whatever. This one out of 500, the SPX Force. So that is a sweet hit right there. Don't even know the odds. Put it right there. Let me see a Ken Griffey Jr. numbered on the back of that. And this is the Ken Griffey Jr. Heroes. 
talks about him leading Mariners to an 83 and 79 record for their first ever winning season. So that is definitely an impact on a team that needed help there. Sorry Mariners. Nice. Ken Griffey Jr. This is number 1,947 out of 2,000. 10 card set and these are the Baseball Heroes Crash Numbered cards. For some reason they, they call them Crash Numbered. And a Rondell White. So that was the best pack so far. No autograph yet, but we did get an SPX Force and a Ken Griffey Jr. Heroes. Two numbered cards in the same pack. Here we go, Ken Caminiti. Troy O'Leary. And Roberto Alomar. Flying through the sky. Great Futures. Have these been one, for, one per pack? Didn't I say one per every three? At least one, one per pack. Jose Guillen, okay. Charles Johnson, Eric Young. Hey, we had a Derek Jeter. This is an SP Derek Jeter. Only a couple years after the coveted 93 SP. This is the 97 SP Derek Jeter. Sweet one right there. Any Derek Jeter card is a sweet card. Set that there right in our field of view. Got a bunch of stuff going here, on here on the screen. Might have to make those great futures a stack here. I've got another stuck pack. For some reason, some of these packs are super stuck together. Then when you shimmy it like that, they all come out. Not much paper loss. There's Sammy Sosa, Joe Carter. And there's a Cal Ripken Jr. Probably with the most paper loss of any card we've seen so far, unfortunately. Aaron Boone again. Great Futures. Billy Wagner. We have Gary Sheffield back with the Marlins. And some more duplicates there. Still a bunch of packs in this box. And we have a Ricky Henderson. There we go. I haven't seen Ricky yet with his workout jacket on, the Padres. Tom Gordon. Tom Gordon, Red Sox. There's a Cal Ripken, a little better, not too bad. Cal Ripken Jr. And okay, we got our first right side, so we might have to do some matching up here. Barry Larkin with the red, it's a marquee matchup, foil insert. Okay, so it has Dion Sanders right here, at least talks about him. Um, might have to look for the other piece of that. Let's see who we got here in this pack. Bobby Bonilla, still getting paid today by the Mets. Bobby Higginson, so a couple Bobbies. And then we have Cecil Fielder, it's a new one. Mike Lansing, Cecil Fielder. So let's move the Derek Jeter over here and check out if we have any that doesn't look like it no and it doesn't seem like it but you could see what I'm talking about it would be kind of put it together like this they go up look it says inner league play at the top so we will have to continue looking for that have our left side at least another pack we're gonna go until the box is empty thank you all for watching this SP mini series episode oh this was one of the boxes I was really looking forward to so I haven't seen one of these cards ever or the design so this is my first time with you all Bartolo Colon again great futures Foil rookie card, got that one before. And we have Shane Reynolds. Somebody sticking to the back of Shane. It was Bobby Higginson again. Kevin Elser and Mike Lansing. Okay, a couple commons there. This is just a beautiful set for any of these set collectors put together. This would be something cool to put together. There's Dennis Eckersley. 
183 cards, as I said, in the base. Hal Morris, Rafael Palmero, the Orioles. And there's a Todd Walker with the Twins Great Futures rookie insert. Todd Walker again, that bronze etch like. Jeff King, there's an Andres Galarraga. We haven't seen yet. Rockies, also in his workout gear, probably cold at that point. Andy Pettit and Chuck Knobloch. So that was a pack of no duplicates, I think. Not too bad. Here we have Gary Gaetti. Also one we haven't seen. A Jim Tomey, one we haven't seen. That's not a bad one. And we have something special. There's the Jim Tomey. Nice. Here we have a special FX. And it's Cal Ripken Jr. Look at that die cut action right there. 3D holographic card with a couple pictures of him on the back. There he is. Durability personified. Yep, that is, that's for sure. So if we look at the special effects again, the special effects it looks like are die cut hollow view. So that also describes the card really well. You want to be careful when putting these die cut cards into penny sleeves very carefully so not to mess with the corners. And there you have it. And the is a 48 card set actually and it's one in every nine pack. So it's our first one seeing that. First time seeing that insert set. And there's an Andrew Jones great future. There's one of the other ones we were looking for. Andrew Jones, Nomar Garcia Para, Vladdy, Bartolo Colon. So we're hitting all of them here. Andrew Jones right there. Todd Hollinsworth, base card. There's a Larry Walker. Another Mariano Rivera. I think that's our third Mariano Rivera. And Mark Grezolanik. So another pack. Like Griffey's smile on the front of these packs. Almost as if he's excited that we're opening some cards. Feels like there's another die cut in here. It might be at Special FX. Again, here's Andy ben Alan Bennis. We have a Dion Sanders laughing away. And there we go, another Special FX. And it is a Chipper Jones. That one is a Chipper Jones. So that's pretty sweet. We will show you the die cut th being thrown in again to a penny sleeve. Here's my little trick that I do. I'll take a, one of the great Hall of Famers here. And what I do is I just kind of go like this. So as to make sure if any of the corners are damaged, it's going to be from the banes. <laughs> And then you could just go ahead and slide that right in there, pull the bangs out, and you have your die cut in there, free of catching on any of the corners from the penny sleeve. So that's pretty cool. There's that Chipper Jones. Woo, he's happy. That's awesome. So look at these holographic, or hollow view, as they say. Wilton Guerrero is our great futures. Not the Guerrero we wanted. Vlad, another Vladdy would be nice. Raul Mondesi with only a twig left for a bat. Jack McDowell. We got a Big Mac here. Mark McGuire. You know what happened in this photograph. Somebody in the stands got a souvenir. So that is a sweet one. Mark McGuire. Put that next to our Jeter. Bonds. New pack here. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer now. And we have on the back of that a Tom Gordon. Fred McGriff. Some think he should be in the Hall of Fame. 
Derek Lee again is our future stars. Getting a nice pile of these future stars. Bobby Bonilla again. Larry Walker again. And we have John Franco and Mark Grezolanik again. Getting further down in the box. Lots of packs, 30 packs. Lots of cards, only minor, minor stickage. Some, some packs more than others. Brian Jordan. Barry Larkin, there he is with his cool shades on. The Reds, Brady Anderson. Cubs rookie Kevin Ori. So not a big one there. Dave Nilsson. Ellis Burks. Jose Canseco again. And Marty Cordova. There's uh, multiple Consecos in this box, as well as many others. Hall of Famer Paul Molitor on the back when he was on the Twins. There's a Ray Lankford. Hey, we're just talking about you. Harold Baines, 97 SP. Ryan Klesko. And Luis Castillo. Harold Baines, you'll hear his name now as he just recently got written to the Hall of Fame by the writers and many people out there think that there is many others who possibly deserve it better but I, I can't uh, help but now compare everyone as a baseline getting into Hall of Fame uh, to Harold Baines and it's just kind of unfortunate there's our boy Nagy nagging us again New one here, a little stickier than most. Juan Gon, Juan Gonzalez. Love that classic SP logo in the corner. Jim Tomey, looking like he's practicing for a sprint. And we have another special FX here, and this one's Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox, unfortunately a little paper loss on this one because this was an extra sticky pack. There's special FX, Greg Maddox. And we have another Vladdy Guerrero, Rookie Great Futures insert, foil insert from 97SP, that one's sweet. Second one of those. There's Todd Hollinsworth, as I was telling you. He does have an autograph in here and we are trying to avoid that, but if we don't get any autographs, I guess we would rather get that one than nothing. Ellis Burks, Tino Martinez, and Marty Cordova. So here we go. This is a longer video, a longer rip than most, but I would say the quality is here. The content from start to finish, these cards are beautiful. Great checklist, still have a chance of pulling an autograph. Albert Bell, Fred McGriff again. We have a Nomar Garcia Parr again, rookie, great futures foil insert. That's a nice one. This one's in very beautiful condition. That's our second one there. Eric Karos, Vinny Castilla with Jeff D'Amico and Jason Giambi. Giambi again. Haven't seen that Amico, D'Amico yet. And here we go. Yvonne Rodriguez, there's a Pudge in 1997. You can see him on the Rangers there on the back. That's a sweet card. Pudge. Barry Larkin. Little stickage again here. Marquise Grissom. And we have a Marquee matchups. It is a right side, Andres Galarraga. Looks like there might be Juan Gonzalez in the middle. Don't think we hit that Juan Gonzalez yet, so that still might be another one, but we'll check. Vinny Castilla again. Hey, there's Wade Boggs. Wade Boggs on the Yankees. Moved over to the other side. Yankees. So let's check that Andres Galarraga. I am guessing it would be a Juan Gonzalez if Juan Gon is in 
the background as you can see it should be putting together that foil background and Juan Gonzalez is in that foil background this one looks close but still no cigar on that one very close so we'll still be looking for those let's grab our packs here see how many we have left Here's that full box, it's empty. You can see it's very, very nice. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six packs remaining. No autograph yet, but no autograph is guaranteed, I believe. We still have our box topper, or that inside info card which is one per box and it's a 25 card set. So if you try to put that together, you're gonna need 25 boxes. Um, you know, without buying the card singly. There's a Tim Salmon. That's a sweet one, my PC. Kevin Ori again. There we go, Johnny Damon. Looking like he wants to make a call to the bullpen. Maybe he's not happy with the pitching. <laughs> Messing around, joking in the dugout right there. That is not a bad one. That appears very early on, Johnny Damon, maybe second year. Edgar Renteria. We have a Scott Rowland. That's going to be a rookie, although they didn't put him in that Future Stars. It's kind of interesting. And a Hideki Arabu. Haven't seen those yet. Fifth pack. Till the end here. Joey Hamilton. We have Tim Nehring, Steve Avery, and another marquee matchup. This one's a good one. Derek Jeter. Look at that. Die cut marquee matchups. Derek Jeter. There's that back. It's talking about Andrew Jones on the back. So it looks like we would be looking for Andrew Jones, none of which we have found yet. But now we went three left sides, three right sides, which is kind of interesting. Old Astros Uni there. Brian Hunter, Pedro Martinez, and who we got sticking behind here? Cecil Fielder. There's that young Pedro with the Expos. Look at him there. Looks like he already knows what he's doing. Four packs. And that'll be it for our 97 SP Hobby Box. As always, I would love to hear your guys' comments down below. What do you think of the set? Have you seen these designs before? Have you opened a pack of these? Albert Bell, Greg Maddox. There's another Andrew Jones. Nice, with the Braves. Andrew Jones was really dominant and then kind of the second half of his career fell off. Eric Karos, there's a Manny Ramirez. Like that one, I always like when these pictures go through this foil. Manny Ramirez here is almost covering up half the side. It looks like a different card. That's a young Manny. Geronimo Barroa and a John Jaha with some paper loss. I am pleasantly surprised with the amount of stickage though. I expected it to be a lot more, a lot worse for the card, so that's good. But We do these videos so we get to check it out for ourselves, see how it is, show you guys. And then we get to, you know, over time we'll get to see which ones we like the best, maybe revisit them, looking for some of the big ones that we missed. There's Kenny Lofton. Jason Dixon, so it's a future stars we haven't seen yet. And one that we could go without seeing, but there it is. Kevin Ape here, always making the worst faces in his pictures, every single picture. Moises Alou, the Marlins, and a Kurt Schilling. That's not Kurt Schilling. And there he is, Jeff Cerulio, sticking to Kurt Schilling. Back with the Phillies. Final two packs. Still no autograph. 
Might not get one that's looking like that right about now. JT Snow, haven't seen that one. JT Snow Jr. Mark Grace, the Cubs, Mark Grace in 97. There's a Jim Edmonds when he was on the Angels. And Future Stars, our great future is a Bubba Trammell foil. Put that on there, over there in our stack. Jeff Bagwell, Astros, that's a good one. Melvin Nieves. Bernard Gilkey, for all you Gilkey fans. And a Jason Kendall. Here we go, final pack, last pack mojo. Let's see if we could get any decent cards here. Any inserts, autographs. Here we go, Steve Finley. And a Brian McRae. Eddie Murray, so that's a new one. Eddie Murray on the Angels. Interesting picture there in the back with his helmet. I love that. Jose Cruz Jr. again. Great Futures. Craig Biggio again. Travis Fryman. Don't think we've seen that one. David Cohn and Ray Ordonez. So we did not get any of the SPX Force autographs, which I was really looking forward to, or the vintage autographs, unfortunately. But we do have our final box topper or inside info card, one per box. So they kind of have it sticking here to the box. I don't want to bend the card any. There we go. So here's that insider info pack. Big SP logo there. Seems like we got some etching or die cut going on. We will see. This is a one per box. You get these little inserts here. And we have a Paul Molitor. So Paul Molitor. What's cool about these cards here is that they say they're called Insider Info because inside, let's see if it will give it to us, they have info on Paul Molitor. So look at that, it's like a little booklet there and you can see the back stats. Like I said, there's 25 of these cards, one per box. Paul Molitor, not a bad one. Cool foil on the back and foil on the front. Very thick to house that insert of information. It says right here, Paul Molitor DH. While others may have gotten more fanfare and attention, Molitor's quiet consistency has earned him many platitudes throughout his 19 year career. On 9-16-96, he became the 21st member of the Major League's 3,000 Hit Club and certainly didn't turn, didn't back into the honor as his 225th hits last season led AL players. Wow, so that's for sure. Might give you a reason as to why he's a Hall of Famer. So that's cool, little booklet type of insert card. Very sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of our SP mini series. We have a ton of base cards, a lot of duplicates of 97 SP, a ton of the great futures. We didn't look like we were able to match up any of the marquee matchups, but that would have been cool to see. So as you can see, they definitely tried some different technologies, different inserts here, having two pieces, having the uh, in info insider info so I'd say our biggest hit are these special FX here SPX force Barry Bonds Jose Canseco Sammy Sosa and Gary Sheffield so we got that one and our three special FX are Cal Ripken Jr. Chipper Jones and Greg Maddox you can see them right there that is pretty cool from 1997 so gotta love that and then we did hit a numbered one in the same pack as that SPX Force that Ken Griffey Jr. Heroes numbered to 2000 
SPX Force number to 500. And a bunch of the big rookies, most notably being Vladdy Guerrero Sr. Two of those. Nomar Garcia Para. Two of those. Foil rookies. Two Bartolo Colon rookies. And we got an Andrew Jones. So those are the big ones there. Love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, comment down below any comments you have um, as, as far as this release, what you were, what you were hoping to look for. Maybe you guys have a personal story with these cards. So keep collecting. Care about the cards and each other. It's the card community. Thanks, guys, and see you next time.